We've all had that moment. It's near bedtime. You go towards the fridge. It screams out at you, open me, open me. You reach in and there's that last brownie there laughing at you. You just can't stop the cravings. But is there a way to stop this nighttime snacking? Is there a way to stop breaking up and undoing all that hard work that you do on your diet from nighttime snacking? The first thing I would suggest is to spread your food throughout the day. People seem to store a lot of calories for a certain time of the day rather than spreading it. So you actually do have things like carbohydrates, which 90% of the time is what you're gonna be craving in the evening. People have more during the day and think, oh my God, it's six o'clock. As soon as six o'clock hits, I can't have a carbohydrate because carbs after six are stored as body fat. No, carbs are gonna be used for energy, for fuel, for your bodily functions. They're not gonna be stored as body fat as long as you need them. So spread them throughout the day to the points when you would potentially enjoy most. Getting enough sleep, if people are really tired, just go to bed. There's nothing wrong with having an early night. Go to bed and sleep. Don't starve yourself. Another big tip here. Again, with spreading your food throughout the day, people tend to starve themselves. Oh, I'm not gonna eat anything till lunchtime. Great, you just had four or five hours where you're up and you haven't eaten, that's cool but you then eat double in the next four or five hours. So people starving themselves throughout the day tend to then want more food at night time and eat a lot more crap, a lot less filling food, food which is gonna make you crave more. So don't do it, spread your food throughout the day. Fuel for your training. If your training's in the evening, stick most of your carbohydrates around your training. Most of your energy foods are gonna be needed for your training, for recovery, and to fuel that training. Don't go and have a massive breakfast. Yes, still have some carbs in there, some proteins and fats in there, a nice balanced breakfast meal, but don't have a massive 1,000 calorie breakfast if you're then gonna be sitting on your ass for eight, nine hours at work until you train. You may as well have that food around training and not be so heavy throughout the day. Keep hydrated. Hydration is key. A lot of times when people are actually craving food, they just need a glass of water. Like you crave salty foods, chances are you just need to be more hydrated. Two to three liters of water a day spread throughout the day, easy. If you say you can't get water in, you're a liar. I know that for a fact. Portion controlled treats, okay? So people want treats and that's cool. I wouldn't call them as a treat. You're not a dog. You don't need to sit and beg because you're gonna get a treat, but portion controlled items that you like and you enjoy having are good. If you can't keep it to a certain portion, don't keep that food in the house. Now, it is gonna be more expensive getting like, for example, the little tiny chocolate bars, those little Freddos that used to be 10p and they're now about 10 pounds, but they're portion controlled, okay? You get that massive bar of Cadbury's dairy milk, chances are you're gonna eat the whole thing. Well, you're definitely gonna eat the whole thing. There's no point of them putting a reseedable sticker on them. Like, but if you have these portion controlled ones, you can grab one, keep it out of sight, and you can eat that one. So, if you have any other questions on, how do I stop this sort of snacking? How do I stop that? Get in touch, ollie at athleteupgradecoach.com and I will answer them via these videos.